Hello everybody, and welcome to Crazy Horse Gaming. Today we are going to be looking at the HD PVR 2 Gaming Edition Plus, which basically is a device where you can record uh, all your game footage. And this records Xbox 360, PS3 in 1080p HD. Um, you've got optical for 5.1 surround sound. You can stream to Twitch a new stream. Um, seems there that you've got to have a pretty fast computer. I'll be fine in that regard. Yeah, let's take all this out. Get this thing off. <laughs> I must stress, this is the first time. I've ever done anything like this, um, but we've been sent this by the lovely people at a pause to review. Um, so we've got wires, I'm guessing for its HDMI, you just plug this straight in the back, and it allows you to use the, the 360. Nice AC adapter. Um, an all rightish HDMI cable. Don't know if they're gold plated. Oh yeah, it's gold plated. Interesting to see uh, the quality on that. Um, That's for the USB, connected up to the laptop. Another HDMI cable. <laughs> Generous there. Uh, HD cables for... Guessing this is what hooks the device up. No idea. I'll have to see the instructions on that. No, we don't have any instructions, so... Open this. And... The unit itself. Pretty nice. Nice and small. Ports in the back, you've got... USB, optical input. An IR receiver, which I don't think's been included. Uh, that explains the two HDMI cables. One's output, one's input. Yeah, let's. I guess we'll see how easy this is to set up. Um, yeah. Excuse the cut. Right. This thing's uh, seems to be a doddle to set up. You've got one AC adapter. USB which will be going into laptop one HDMI input which is from the games console and then one HDMI from the barge into the TV seems to sit rather nicely under the TV blinking light I'm guessing that's because I've not installed drivers yet. Right, finally got it installed. I noticed on the install screen that the PS3 doesn't work through HDMI due to some HD something or something. But it's clearly not a, a good thing right there. Um, other things, easy to install, takes about five minutes. And I've got it on the TV, laptop, easy as you like. Um, just about to rename the file, so I'll call that Skyrim. Uh, stop that right there. Seems rather simple to do. 
Um, I suppose we'll um, show you some game quality right now. As you can see, the HD PVI is a really nice lounge. Uh, the graphics come out decent. There's no lag, there's no delay in the, the sound uh, as it relates to the video. Um, the games really do look uh, output good. Uh, probably should have picked a better game other than Aliens, but there you go. You have 20 minutes before a total collapse. Shut it down. Where are you heard the lady? Get to the other side. We now move on to the Wii U, and as you can see from the pitch quality, it's still just as good as the Xbox 360. Mm. Trying to simply look stunning on the Apollo PDR 2. Mm. Uh, as do most Wii games, Wii U games, as we'll see right here. Even all the games, such as Donkey Kong, which was purchased off the Wii U store, still look amazing through the upscale that um, the HD PVR supplies.
Now we've seen the games, let's be having a look at uh, some of the features that are included in the settings. Um, switch between video input, audio input. I think this is quite a nice feature where we can um, set, well, plug in a microphone set the game volume and it'll automatically record in uh, the voice just saves you um, loading up an extra program um, so many features I mean, by rights it, it is an easy bit of um, kit to use anybody could um, plug it in a five minute job and you're away but for the, the more technical people out there you could, there's so many things to do Capture a screenshot there by just by clicking that. Um, it's possible to view videos that you recorded earlier, and then export them as MP4 files. And the quality is terrific that it records that. I really am impressed. Um, can upload directly to YouTube. How that works with your login, I, I don't know because there doesn't seem to be any login window. Oh, there we go. You click upload and then it allows you to put in your email credentials, title, keywords, category, description. It's quite nice right there. For the Twitch users that want to stream their games live seems pretty simple video input, audio, microphone stream quality um, got your service let's have a look at the settings duty directory snapshot directory now this, this is a, a real nice feature this can if you're fighting about with um, video editing software, if you just want to get your videos up quickly, um, say if you want the watermark in the corner, just got to click there, and it's as simple as that. <laughs> I mean, from the video editing myself, it, it does seem to be quite troublesome in getting that in with uh, say Sony Vegas or what's the other one? Adobe Elements uh, but yeah all in all the Apoge is a really decent bit I mean it, when you're recording it goes green on the front yellow when you're not recording press the button there starts recording instantly um, it's nice to look at nice shape fits nicely under the TV but yeah all in all to summarize the HD PVR2 is um, a great bit of kit it's simple to use works really well for the Wii U, the Xbox 360 um, seems to be a little of a problem recording in HD on the PS3 I haven't been able to test it out mainly due to the fact I don't have any um, component cables for the PS3 I don't think anybody would really um, considering Sony never supplied them but um, yeah it's a great kit um, it's brilliant for the price of £130, it's full of features, great for live streaming, great for uploading straight to YouTube, there's an e easy video editor uh, built in that has many features, um, so yeah, if I could recommend any, any go buy this, um, that's why I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll see you next time.